Hello friends, welcome to jQuery video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss jQuery selectors. First step in learning jQuery is learning how to select HTML elements using jQuery. Because once we select HTML elements, then only we perform the actions on those selected HTML elements, right? So the first step in learning jQuery is learning how to select HTML element or elements using jQuery as efficiently as possible. Then how to add styles, effects, animations, events to them. To select HTML element or elements, jQuery function accepts CSS selector. The syntax is quite simple. We say jQuery or dollar. In pair of parentheses, in between double quotations, we pass a CSS selector. So that is going to become a jQuery selector. And on the selected elements, we can perform actions, right? CSS selector. What is CSS selector? CSS selector is a string that is a sequence of characters enclosed in double quotations used to select or target HTML element or elements available on the page. CSS selector is a string used to select or target HTML element or elements available on the page. To select HTML element or elements available on the page as much as specifically and as much as generically, CSS provides wide variety of selectors. So we have different types of CSS selectors to target HTML elements. We have tag selector, class selector, ID selector, group selector. We have different contextual selectors like descendant selector, direct child selector, adjacent sibling selector, general sibling selector. We have attribute selectors, pseudo classes, pseudo elements, universal selector, wide variety of CSS selectors are provided by the CSS. We take help of these CSS selectors in jQuery to target HTML elements and apply specific styles, effects, animations, events, etc. So the first step in learning jQuery is learning how to select or target HTML elements available on the page using jQuery. From the next video tutorial onwards, we are going to understand each and every jQuery selector in detail, in depth. So for this video tutorial, I think this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. And don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.